conclusions and I'm not looking for the mistakes. I'm not here for the excuses. I'm not looking for a company of the pity parties. Sometimes I've come to understand that God is not a God of the pity parties. You need just to strengthen yourself. For the Bible says, and David strengthened himself in the Lord. And he said, I'm going after them. And when he went after them, he, he, he encountered the miracle of restoration. Someone say healing is something you have to insist on. Can I pick to people in this place? It never seemed like to be. When you looked with your physical eyes, it was all difficult everywhere. But something kept pushing you. Something kept insisting on it. When you refuse the monotonous, you miss on the miraculous. I feel like talking to somebody in this place. Because this reminds me of numbers when the children of Israel were going through the wilderness God allowed the snakes to bite them praise the name of God so when they came to Moses the first thing they did they said to Moses, Moses we have sinned can I tell you something before I continue you know the real trouble will make you to be honest I say the real trouble will make you to speak the truth. I say the real trouble will make you to stop lying. Some of us we lie because we have never come face to face with the real trouble. Why did they come to Moses? Why? Because all of us cannot be leaders. And that's why you got to love and be careful on how you treat whoever is leading you. Praise the name of God. They came to Moses and now they are going to say the truth. Moses, we have hated you. We have criticized you. Uh, we have talked bad of you. But now we pray for your forgiveness. Because if you are not going to pray us through the snakes, then we are doomed the praise the name of God the snakes in the ministry the snakes in the family the snakes in the marriage the snakes in the relationships the snakes in the businesses but I can't bring out the snakes all by myself I need somebody who is a leader who can pray with me over the snakes and that's why we are in the house of God at such a time I decree declare right now every snake in your life people are you here can we have some little chat in this place I decree declare every snake in your life every snake in your marriage every snake in your business every snake in your ministry may Moses lift up the serpent of bronze as he lifted up in the wilderness for the Bible says praise the name of God when Moses went to God and said God they are being beaten by the snakes God said to Moses, make one. Now watch this. I'm about to preach in this place. Watch this. What was the trouble with the children of Israel? Somebody say the snake. Say the snake. How in the world God will tell Moses uh, to make the same thing uh, that is biting them? Praise the name of Jesus. Now in order to make a snake of brass, Brass must be beaten into the shape of the snake. And this is what Jeremiah meant by saying that uh, he was wounded uh, for our transgressions. So Moses lifted up the serpent uh, that was beaten so that anybody that was beaten can look on the serpent uh, and be beaten and find uh, his life. Someone say, I have my own life I need to find. <laughs> now why in the world that God will beat the brass into the very thing uh, that was making them uncomfortable. Praise the name of God. A serpent is wicked thing. That crawling creature. When you read about serpent in Genesis. You don't like snake. Nobody likes snake. When a snake enters here right now. People are going to run away. Praise God. How many love the snakes here? Praise God. Nobody loves the snake. When people see the snake. They say Jesus. 
praise God. Because a snake has been likened to devil. Praise the name of God. Now what the serpent does now, he casts it is demons upon you. Uh, you got to get it out. What the serpent does, he casts the fear on you. He casts the stress on you, the trouble and the rejection and the separation. Praise the name of God. Someone say the venom. Now, in the name of Jesus, you are already getting, getting, getting to the place where God says you have to be scared, you have to be set free. You have to be delivered. You have to be set loose. Praise the name of God. And that's why Jeremiah asks, is there no physician? Because the snakes are biting the children of Israel. And the Bible says when the snake bit them, they died. Praise the name of God. Many children of Israel are dying for the biting of the snakes. And God says to Moses, you need to make one. Praise the name of God. Now watch this. The serum solution the serum solution is the intersection because if you think God is going to use right against wrong, you are wrong. If you think God is going to use good against evil, you are wrong. I want you to get this because when you miss this, you miss my message. Praise the name of Jesus. I say God sometimes, uh, he never uses right against wrong. No. Sometimes he never uses good against evil. But he uses evil against evil. <laughs> he uses sin against sin. Uh, what are you telling me man of God? The Bible says God sending his son in his own likeness. Uh, in the very thing he wanted to destroy. Uh, because Jesus comes uh, to destroy sin. To destroy death. Uh, and Jesus is going to become the very thing uh, that God. God the Father wanted him to get rid of. Even Jesus himself quotes and says the way Moses lifted up the brass snake in the wilderness the son of man be lifted up and if I be lifted up from the earth there shall be salvation. Are you still in this 